Okay, so yeah, because this is you are opening the door to a whole different world. Because I remember, uh, I I I used to be a seller. I I don't sell anymore. Mm -hmm. But from the days that I was a seller, I was part of an affiliate network. And as soon as you register, now there's all kinds of different ways to get the most out of the network mm -hmm. in terms of the kind of performance that affiliates look for before they decide to take you on and, and also the resources you need to provide. So, so what I'm hearing from you is, so Amazon sellers now have a way to tap into different kind of different category of experts, you know, affiliates in the network where some may specialize in uh, driving organic traffic because they happen to be very good with SEO and therefore they have rich, rich traffic. And then some may have uh, expertise for driving paid ads affordably and then you tap into them. But it's all, they do it at their expense. And then mm -hmm. whatever they earn from you, pays whatever their costs are that that's what you are talking about right yeah yeah exactly i mean in, in many ways you can almost think about it as uh, arbitrage like a lot of them are so confident in either their media buying skills or their content creation capabilities or the audience that they've built uh, you know they're willing to spend time resources and money on on those things knowing that they're going to earn money on the back end from from commissions from from advertisers and sellers um and yeah that's that's the name of the game is like that's what allows you to tap into all these different channels these people are so good at what they do the way they make money is by partnering with brands like like your audience so yeah okay so there are two areas that i'd like to get a very good understanding of when it comes to external traffic one is measuring it so because you know amazon data is never 100 percent in terms of being able to reconcile in other words if you look at this report and you look at your paid search it's so many uh, sessions so to speak or so mm -hmm. many click throughs mm -hmm. when you go look at your business reports it shows so many sessions and there is no place for you to go see where your organic traffic is because there's no report that says here is your organic traffic. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of reverse engineer from the numbers. And in that mix, the unknown is the external traffic. Mm -hmm. So really in my book, there are three types of uh, traffic that as a seller that you want to know which what is taking a share of the sales paid sales external traffic sales and organic sales so in this case the way to measure external traffic is using the attribution tags if you don't use the attribution tags you don't know what it is so when when it becomes an affiliate network doing it for you how does the measuring work? Let's get into that part and clarify. Absolutely. So you're absolutely right in that, you know, the Amazon attribution tags are going to be your key to measuring the unknown. Traditionally, you don't know about your external traffic, whether that's your own sources or organic, you know, third party sources. Um, Amazon attribution is unlocking our ability to measure that. Um, now, uh, an affiliate network uh, like Levanta, you know, the the sort of like core functionality is plugging in the Amazon attribution and using those Amazon uh, attribution tags to be able to like segment out traffic by affiliate. So, um, you know, by default, attribution tags are one per ASIN. You know, you can create a an attribution tag for this ASIN for your, you know, your Google traffic, and you can create another attribution tag for your Bing traffic. Well, you can think about that the same when it applies to affiliate. You know, we're going to create a unique tag for each ASIN for each of your affiliates. Um, you know, influencer A is going to get a different attribution tag. You know, content creator B is going to get a different attribution tag. And that, you know, we're leveraging the, the you know, the fundamental tracking that is, uh, that is given to us by Amazon attribution. That's tracking clicks, add to carts, conversions, singles, 
And then, you know, of course, with that information, you're able to say, okay, well, on a 15% cost per sale um, deal with influencer A. So a network like Levant is able to say, okay, well, if influencer A drove, you know, a hundred sales over the course of this month, you now owe them 15% of all those sales. And then an affiliate network, of course, handles all the billing for all of those, um, you know, influencer partnerships. Um, but, you know, it, it, it is all sort of run with Amazon attribution, which, tends to be pretty accurate. Um, you know, you, if you asked people a couple of years ago about Amazon attribution, people would kind of go, eh, I don't, I don't really know. Okay. Nowadays, this, yeah, exactly. Um, nowadays, uh, you know, the perception has changed quite a bit. It's tracking with, with pretty great accuracy, uh, you know, when we're running isolated tests with things like Amazon Associates. Um, and it also handles all the, the reconciliation with, you know, returns and cancellations and things like that. So, you know, you'll never really a an affiliate uh for an order that was that was canceled or returned which is pretty pretty handy so yeah amazon attribution is kind of your secret to all of that okay so just to understand the mechanics of it so if i was doing an email marketing campaign uh, i would go get my attribution tag for that campaign and then another campaign another set of tags and so that's mm -hmm. how i would do it so in this case if i go to an affiliate network then I still have to get set up a, a unique tag for each affiliate. So that's a that's a great question, and, and thank you for clarifying. Uh, you know, one of the benefits of an affiliate network is that they automate that entire process. Uh, basically, you don't have to create the tags yourself. The affiliate network can do that automatically through the attribution API. Oh, this is this is. It's a, I have to pull it out of you, you know. This, this is very <laughs> important you know, because yeah, yeah. I know, I know it, it, some of my clients that we handle their whole operation. They say, "Okay, we've got these four new uh, influencers. Can you please get us the tags?" And then you know <laughs> they have obviously uh, asins with variations and blah blah. So it it it's a bit of a hike. So. Yeah. Affiliate yeah. networks usually they have thousands of affiliates. So, mm -hmm. so I'm still thinking, okay, we have to generate <laughs> tags, attribution tags. No. So what I'm hearing is you have one tag. Well, actually, not one tag. You don't actually do anything, but it's essentially mm -hmm. one tag for the network that the network generates, and then affiliates performance is reported under that tag, probably on, on your uh, reporting, uh, there's just going to be one line item for the the network itself, right? Yeah. So, so getting a little bit more in, in detail on that, basically, you know, it, once you connect your Amazon Seller Central account, then you have network access to create tags in Amazon Attribution. So that that shows in your reporting as one attribution campaign, but then there will be multiple tags created within that campaign. This shows up as group ID. Again, this is nothing that you have to do. This is all completely automated by the network when, when, you, when you connect to your account. That will allow the network to automatically create those tags, automatically track clicks, conversion data to card sales, calculate commissions, automatically generate invoices for you. Um, it, it, like basically, automate your entire affiliate program from start to finish. You know, you can, all you really have to do is set your commissions and, and choose which affiliates you do and do not want to work with. Um, everything else is, you know, fairly straightforward. I see. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that makes it easy. So I, I'm assuming then all the individual affiliates reporting or performance mm -hmm. is reported within the affiliate reporting system. So you see the total yeah. big picture lump sums, in Seller Central, your brand referral bonus, and then all the details uh, are inside. Okay. okay. Exactly. You can see things broken down by affiliate. You can see things broken down by product. You can see things broken down by product by affiliate. Um, so yeah, that kind of granularity in, in reporting is certainly there. Cool.